All right, and switching gears here, the holidays are here, so it's the perfect time to spread some holiday spirit to brighten the lives of foster children. The Give From Your Heart Holiday Gift Drive to Benefit Promise to Kids has already begun. And joining us live now to tell us more is CEO of Promise to Kids, Tanya Torresian, and Guardian Scholar, Hector Lopez. Good morning to the both of you. Good morning, thank you so, for having us. Yes, glad to have you here. Always love a good cause. Let's start by, for people that aren't familiar with Promise to Kids, what it truly is all about. Sure, so we support foster children from the moment they come into foster care all the way on through adulthood mm -hmm. through many different programs. Um, this is just one of our efforts which is uh, collecting toys to uh, distribute to every agency that serves foster yeah. children. What are some of the different programs that you provide? Yeah, so we have Camp Connect, which mm -hmm. really specializes on when brothers and sisters come into care together but then have to be separated, mm -hmm. living in different homes and different families. Uh, we bring them together for summer camp and monthly activities. Um, and then we have Guardian Scholars, and that program starts in high school with looking at career exploration, trying to pair them with a career that they're really passionate about, yeah. and then supporting them with scholarships, mentors, case management, as they look at uh, vocational training, community college, or university education. And Hector, you've been a part of this uh, program. I know you've been in foster care along with your brother since eight years of age. What has the experience been like for you, and what does it mean to have a program like this? My experience through foster care was actually very struggling in the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, I, I entered foster care when I was eight years old and uh, my mom's house got raided by SWAT team. I, entered, and I moved to a variety of group homes and foster homes and went to five high schools. And fast forward now where I'm actually a Guardian Scholar and actually pursuing a higher education and thanks to Promises to Kids Guardian Scholarship Program, it's, I got provided with a mentor, um, a case manager, and. Uh, also get help with um, career navigation. For example, nice. I got my job with um, High Lake Electrical, yeah. th thanks to the Lenar internship that was actually brought through Promises to Kids. Mm -hmm. So it takes a really tough situation and gives these kids some hope and a chance to succeed in life, which is so important. All right, so we want people to get involved. For those that can help out and donate, talk about the drive that you have going on. Yeah, so I'm really excited. This is a really fun time of year mm -hmm. because we get to see a variety of different toys, gifts, gift cards come through our office, all with the idea that it's gonna go to a young child uh, in foster care or a teen in foster care who may not get another opportunity to have a gift. So um, the community can come in, shop, bring an unwrapped gift to um, Carmel Mountain Preschool or at our offices at uh, Promises to Kids here in Kearney Mesa. And if they could do that in the next couple weeks, we can get it out, uh, sorted, and out to families to give to their children. And you said something to be mindful of is you have a ton of different ideas for the little kids, but it's the teenagers that also need gifts. Absolutely. So we have a couple of gifts here uh, for model, but really sports equipment, gift cards, um, toys, ga or games, uh, anything like bath and body, sort of lotions, um, diaries, coloring, all that stuff. All right, so again, take it to the Carmel Mountain location, the preschool there. Right. You have till December 14th, but I'm sure you will not deny any donations if they're brought straight to your office after. Correct, yes. After the 14th, just come to Promises to Kids and we'll make sure that they get in the hands of uh, one of our children. All right, Hector, I know you're going to Palomar College, working hard. Tell people real quick the degrees that you're hoping to pick up here. I'm hoping to get a dub double major in business administration and social work. And what do you want to do with your life? I want to open up a sober living and also a start my own business where I could give former foster youth and formerly incarcerated uh, um, opportunities to succeed. All right. If you work hard, you can get anything that you want. So please Absolutely. continue. You are a great su a success story. And thank you so much for joining us. Please help them out. We're going to take a quick break. Stay with us.